that registration for the October 11th test is open now. Stop by the CCC in B202 to pick up a free study guide to help you prepare for the exam. Registration ends September 29th. College visits. The University of Wisconsin-Madison and the University of Minnesota are visiting WHS this week along with several other schools. Get a pass at the CCC for any college visit. Drama Club will meet this Friday, September 22nd at 7.30 a.m. in the Black Box. Breakfast will be provided. Skills USA season starts Thursday, September 28th and will meet at 325 in D216. Skills USA has competitions for all content covered in ETD classes. See Mr. Swenson in D216 with questions. Speaking of Skills USA, let's go learn a little bit more about it. Hi, I'm Kayleen McCabe, and as a TV host, a carpenter, and a business owner, I have a very unique resume. But if I could go back to when I was a student, I would add one more bullet point membership in Skills USA. Millions of highly skilled, high paying jobs are going unfilled in America right now because employers can't find enough skilled workers. That's the skills gap, and it's threatening our economy. Skills USA is filling that gap with graduates who were job ready day one. It serves more than 300,000 students in career and technical education programs nationwide, from 3D animation to welding and everything in between. They're equipped not just with technical skills, but personal and workplace skills like teamwork, problem solving, public speaking, lifelong leadership skills for work and personal success. I didn't join Skills USA because I didn't know about it. I support Skills USA because now I do. Get to know about it yourself at skillsusa.org. Skills USA, champions at work. Hey Maggie, what's going on in sports? Well, boys soccer did really well last night. Boys soccer beat Minneapolis Washburn last night 1-0. Sophomore Patrick Way put the only goal in the back of the net with an assist from senior Danny Kelly. Volleyball lost against Maple Grove last night with a final score of 3-0. The girls will compete again tonight at 7 against St. Michael at St. Michael, Albert, St. Michael Albertville High School. Girls Swim and Dive will take on the Royals this afternoon at 5 at Hopkins North Junior High School. And girls soccer will also play tonight on their home turf against Minneapolis Southwest at 7. Good luck to all the teams. Now back to the anchors. Homecoming dance tickets are on sale for $10 on ePay or at lunch this week. Tickets are $15 at the door. The dance is this Saturday, the 23rd. Mock trial is having an informational meeting after school on September 21st in A249. See Mr. Hansa in A249 or Mr. Trimberger in C321 with questions. Congratulations to all 2017 Homecoming royalty. This year's nominees for King are Kai Christensen, Grant Collins, Frank Fetro, Brooks Hansen, Andy McKenzie, Vietti Okalisti Zabo, and Jason Wang. For Queen, Marissa Kalkar, Melody Liu, Naomi Long, Snigda Pakala, Rosie Salem, Sarah Slavic, and Abby Sorensen. Seniors will receive an email next week to vote. Coronation is Wednesday, September 27th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Trojan Leadership Council will have their first meeting of the year this Friday at 7.45 a.m. in the Media Center classroom. This is open to all grades. Now on to weather with Cole. Good morning, Wyzetta. This is Cole with your weather. Hopefully our forecast is looking a little bit less green today. Moving further into the day, we'll be looking at temperatures in the mid to high 70s. However, the higher humidity should keep it feeling a little bit toastier than it really is. Tonight, temperatures should dip into the high 60s with light thunderstorms expected later on in the evening. Be sure to, be sure to grab an extra blanket tonight, folks. Tonight, oh, looking forward into the week. Tomorrow, we, we're expecting highs in the 70s and lows in the 50s. Morning clouds will eventually give way to sunshine in the afternoon, expecting a rise in temperature along with it. That's all I've got for weather today. Now over to Kai with A&E. Thanks, Cole. Hello, Izetta, and welcome back to the A&E News. According to the New York Times, Harry Dean Stanton, aged 91, died last Friday at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. He was a character actor best known for his roles in Alien, Paris, Texas, Repo Man, and had brief appear appearances in recent films such as The Avengers and Seven Psychopaths. Vincent Canby once said he was a he had a mysterious gift that was able to make everything he do seem immediately authentic, and I wholeheartedly agree with that statement. Rest in peace, sir. 
In box office news, IT is still number one with 60 million for its second week, reaching a total of nearly 220 million in total. Mother, with a budget of 30 million, barely broke seven and a half million dollars its opening weekend. It's hard to say if the film will make, be, keep making money over the next couple of weeks, which would imitate the trend of Aronofsky's previous film, Black Swan. As of right now, the numbers are not in favor of Mother, which is quite disappointing. That's all for a &E News today, and thank you to Tristan Schmitz, Maggie Reese, and our green boy, Cole Seeger. I'm Kai Christensen. I'm Lydia Johnson. And I'm Molly Laughlin. Now let's see who's turning another year older.